guys um so today i'm making this surfboard it's actually um for my swap for my facebook group resin fanatics um we usually have a monthly swap and this month we're doing a shark themed um i'm really obsessed with sharks shark week so i thought it'd be super fun and it really didn't occur to me um to start filming or you know to film this because i was having so much fun with it until I realized how pretty it was and I said they need to see this so anyways so anyways um I'm gonna tell you exactly what I did for the first steps and um, I do have another wave video it's video number 14 the heart ocean waves so you can go back and see how I started right from the beginning. It's just like this, just different colors. So the first thing I did was, um, this surfboard is about, it's a wooden, it's about 14 inches. I taped the back. I ordered the surfboard on Etsy. I will give you the link in the description box. And it was just a plain wood, piece of wood. Um, so I taped the back and then I painted it and I did a really dark, blue went down to light turquoise and then I made my beach um I mixed my own colors with acrylic paint the beach was a little bit of red and yellow and black and then I just you know wiped off my brush and dipped it in white and I got that light peach color it's really pretty and then my swap partner likes bling so um this is a new product I have in my store in islandmicas.com and this is called Island Shimmer. And when I open this, it's gonna fly everywhere. It's just a really fine mica dust. It's so beautiful, it looks like diamonds. Look at that. And this is, it comes in an ounce and it will last you literally forever. And, um, hold on, I'm looking for a measuring spoon. This one is a mess, but the way I measure it is literally like, you need this much per ounce of resin, like barely anything. So anyways, I put a tiny bit of that in my resin. After I painted it, I let the paint dry. And then I put the first, oh, the sharks. So, okay, I painted it. It's so hard to do this when I'm doing it backwards and telling you how I did it. So I painted the board. I cut these little shark silhouettes with my Cricut, stuck them on there, mixed the resin, put the tiniest bit of island shimmer in there, and then I have a little shimmer going on. And I feel like because it's dark and it's like a night scene, it kind of looks like stars reflecting off the night water from the sky. You know what I'm saying? I think it looks really cool. And it looks super shimmery, but when I start throwing the 3D waves, it's gonna cover up that shimmer and it won't be so shimmery. But this is gonna be so pretty, like I don't know how I'm going to give this away in a swap, especially when I'm obsessed with sharks. I'm gonna have to make myself one. So today to make my waves, I'm gonna do three layers. Um, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna use Casting Craft and a drop of pinata white alcohol inks. Um, everything I use in the tutorial will be in the description. I am also really excited in the process of developing my own wave formula to where you won't you won't need the alcohol inks, you just need this. But um, like I said, it it's in the process, I'm testing it and I don't wanna test it out on my pretty surfboard. I'll do, I'm doing separate tests. There's three different formulas and I'm really excited about this. Hopefully it goes through soon. So I'm right there, right on the, the cusp of getting it down right. All right, so I'm putting some gloves on and I'm gonna do my first layer of waves. And you're gonna want your heat gun. Everything I use, guys, is either in my store 
islandmikeisandmore.com or the links are in the description box. The links to everything. Even the paint that I used. I've actually considered um, to start carrying acrylic paint in my mica store. I don't know how that would go. I don't know if any of you guys are interested. Let me know. Tell me in the comments, like, the paint colors that I use in the work. Because a lot of people ask me what colors I use. It, it is in the description box, but would it be easier if it's in my store? Let me know. Okay. So, heat gun. We need a torch. And the most important thing. Your respirator. So, recap one more time. Painted the board, let it dry, taped the back first, put my stencils on, put it one clear layer of resin with my bling over the whole board and let it dry. And now I'm gonna come with my first wave. Well, first let me make actually some casting craft. Some wave, some wave white. So I only need a tiny bit of resin one little squirt of casting craft shake up your white alcohol pinata mine is in this container because i go through so much so i buy the big bottle and one two little drips that's it it drips right out and i finally got some little popsicle sticks and i'm just going to mix that up very well I'm going to set this to the side and I'm going to figure out, I have just cups under here. You want to make sure they're not hanging off the side like this or your board's going to be stuck to the cup. Okay. So I want to figure out where my first wave is going to start and I want it to be on the beach area. So I'm just going to drizzle across here. That's where I want my wave to start. And then I'm going to come fill all this in starting from the wave back. And I'm using um, KS Resin Ultra UV, as always, I'm a KS Resin girl. I want to say the first time I covered the board, I used about an ounce of resin. And now I'm just dragging this back to cover the whole board. If you put too much resin, you see I just drizzled some on and now I'm dragging it out and kind of dragging it off. If you put too much resin, you're going to lose your waves. The waves are going to slide off and just like melt right off the board. If your board is not level, you're gonna lose your waves. And that reminds me to put one more cup on this side. And I'm just making sure that there's not excess resin. Okay, so now I'm going, going to get my casting craft. I'm going to put my respirator on. Okay, I'm going to hold it up. I'm going to get my casting craft. I'm going to let it fall off the stick. And just drizzle it on the edge of where that wave started, right there. And then... A lot of people message me all day that they try this and they can't figure it out. They can't get it. It just takes practice, man. You have to keep practicing. I have this little attachment. My heat gun's going to be on low. And the first thing you want to do is you're going to want to heat the wave up. Go back and forth, heat the wave up. And then you're going to want to turn your gun down and press out, out, out in a sweeping motion. So here we go. I'm heating it up. I'm 
down. Down and out. And then you're gonna wanna get your torch and break that wave up. You're just gonna go straight across it. And it breaks it up and gives that lacing effect. And I'm gonna go across the top. And that's it for my first wave. Now up here there's bubbles because I did not pop them yet. So I'm just gonna take my torch and lightly go across it in a sweeping motion. One more time. And that's it. That's my first wave. Ah, I hit the camera. So that's my first wave. So I don't know how many layers um, I, I wanna do, but I know I'm definitely gonna do one across the shark here and another one up here. And maybe I'll leave the top dark. So now I'm, I need to let this cure. I could probably come back in six to eight hours and do it again, maybe even less, but I'm gonna wait um, at least six hours and then we'll do the second wave. So thanks for watching guys and I'll see you in a bit for the next wave. Hey guys, um, so it's been about probably six hours and I'm ready to do my second layer and my second wave. Um, so two things. One, I realized the workspace that I'm in, there's an AC vent kind of like blowing over it. And two, it's been raining and humid all day long, like super humid. So let's see if I can get this off. Stuck to the cup a little bit. My first wave kind of went a little wonky, but it's still beautiful. But the lacing disappeared just a bit. So hopefully, it won't be so bad on the next one. I think also like when I do the hearts, it's easier because I'm working on such a big space. There we go. And this gives me just a little space. So I mixed the casting craft with the drop of pinata white. And let's see where I want to start my next wave, like right above the shark maybe. Like right there. And then again, I'm going to fill in this area. And you don't want to make it too thick because then the wave will run off of the sides. I'm trying to make sure that this is level. So if you pour a little bit on, you can kind of smooth it over to fill in the gaps. And each time you go up a layer, you're going to use less resin. Okay. Let me get my heat gun, which I should have already had ready. workspace like a Gatorade molds and I have no room to do anything okay so I'm gonna get my white and I'm gonna start right at that tip and just drizzle one line this time I'm gonna heat it with my torch first just a little bit and then I'm gonna blow it out on low working that wave out. And then I'm going to 
take my heat gun one more time to break this wave up. And I just turn it on and follow a line, basically. Just like that, one line. And I think I'm gonna leave that one there. I'm gonna leave it real frothy on the top. Eh, I'll hit it one more time. <laughs> there we go. And now I'm just gonna pop the bubbles on the top here, sweeping motion back and forth. So that's my second layer. And now I have to decide if I want to do one more layer into the dark. I think I will. Tomorrow morning, because it's already late, I'm going to do one more layer, a tiny one across the top. And that will be my final layer. I think it'll look pretty over the dark. Okay, guys. So that is it. And I will see you in the morning for the final layer. Thanks for watching. Hey guys, so it is the next morning and I am on my last little wave, which is a good thing because the swap is due in like three days. So it'll give it the perfect amount of time to cure and then I can ship it out. So I mixed up my resin, I mixed up my casting craft with my drop of pinata white and I'm gonna do my final wave. Um, we're having a glove shortage with everything going on, so these gloves are huge, but they're gloves. All right, so I'm going to start my next one right over this other shark. And then again, I'm just filling in the area, but not too much. I'm gonna put my wave. I'm gonna hit it with the torch first again this time. Wow, I kinda like that. Maybe I shouldn't blow it out. Doesn't that kind of look cool? Like a really thick wave right there with the lacing? I don't know. Should I blow it out or not? You guys can't talk back to me. Ah! So I'm gonna hit it with the torch just one more time. I'm not gonna use the heat gun. And I'm gonna leave that one just like that. Hopefully it doesn't spill off too much. But there you go. I'm going to take the camera down. Okay, I got my camera now down. And um, don't forget to pop the bubbles on the top with your torch. But this is the difference between blowing the wave out. And remember, it was a little humid and my waves got away from me a little bit. But I blew them out and this one was just a torch. And it kind of looks cool like it, like the wave rolled over there. And it's really thick and foamy with a little lacing on the top. So I kind of like that. So I'm not going to add any more waves up here. I'm going to let that stay dark. And I'm just going to leave it like this. And I hope she likes it. And I'll come back and um, put some still shots for you guys to see. But I think it's pretty cool. I really am liking that wave. I kind of wish I would have did the other waves thick down like this on the bottom, especially on the beach area. That would have been awesome. Well, I know what to experiment with the next time. So thank you guys for watching. If you have any questions, um, throw them down in the comments. I try to get back to you as soon as I can. And I will see you next time. Bye.